Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm finally better. Um, still have some straggling stuff, but um, I'm ready to get back at it. And hopefully you guys are ready too. Um, I haven't seen too many people posting. I know there's not a lot of you yet at this point. But um, what I'm gonna do right now with you is I'm gonna do a plank challenge. So I've got five exercises. The last exercise is individual legs. Everything is done in 40 second rounds, so be ready to be in a plank for a long time. I will pull you down and I will stretch you out a little bit and kind of get you away from the plank to release the shoulders a little bit, but it, there's a bit of cardio aspect to this as well, so be ready for that. Um, make sure that you're breathing, make sure that you're not holding your breath. Biggest thing and the big key for a plank is really having that belly button drawn in and those abdominal muscles engaged and the butt has to be squeezed tight. So, some bonus work for your butt as well. So, bit of a challenge. We're gonna try to do two rounds of all of the planks. Again, there's five exercises with the last being single side. So, we'll do a right side and then we'll do a left side, which means you're in a side plank, obviously. So, get your water, make sure it's close by, get a towel in case you sweat as well, and here we go. Just short little warm up. Here we go. Okay. So I want you to just take a nice deep breath, uphill, warming up those ankles, and it's mostly shoulders that we're gonna warm up. Roll, roll, you're rounding, opening and rolling back and squeezing, rounding and opening and rolling back and squeezing. Stretch and lengthen the abdominals, close it up and crunch. Stretch and lengthen, close it up and crunch. Stretch and lengthen, close it up and crunch, reach it over to the side, again, just a short, Short stretch warm up, little reach and down. One more, switch sides, take that arm behind you, the other one behind you. Switching sides, reaching. Okay, one more shoulder roll forward or backward and forward. Okay, wide legs. You are going to do a plank walk out, right leg goes out, then left leg, then they come back in, but still at a wide, and then you're walking back. So, looks like this hands go down, walk it out. Walk it in, walk it out, and come back up. Sorry, I reversed that. I didn't mean walk in and out, I meant out, in, and then back out. Okay, six of them, here we go. This is just a warm up. We're gonna add a squat with it as well. Walking it down, plank position, walking it back, squat, pull those knees out in a wide position, taking it up, bend it down, walk it out. I'll show you a side view as well. Oops, stay in, feet out, out. Walk it up, squat, turn the toes back, walk it out, in, in, out, out. Walk it back, squat, turn those toes forward, walk it out. I won't go side because you can see what my feet are doing. Walk it back out, toes swivel out, squat, almost like you're gonna catch a ball. Down, walk it out, draw the abs in. This is the time that you should be really working on the core position of your plank. And squat it. Two more. Walk it back out. Feet come in. Feet go out. Walk it back. Squat one more time. Straight legs. Walk it out. In, out, and squat it up. And take it up. So, position like someone just punched you in the stomach. You are drawing the abdominals in, tucking your butt and squeezing nice and tight. So, you position is not hollowed like this. Shoulders are still dipped. You're just, you can see, pulling, tucking, so you're not doing this. Here we go, your first one. Side plank walking to the right and walking to the left. You're doing four walks to the right, four walks to the left. 40 seconds is on the time. And I'm gonna start moving right into it, so have your ears on so you can hear me tell you what I'm switching it to. Getting it down, plank position. Doesn't matter if you can see my head. And to the right, go. Back. Good, walk. So, hands come together, feet go wide. Hands come together, feet go wide. Keep going. Good job. Out, in. Out. Doing good. And take it back. Awesome, awesome. 
Hold it. Mountain climbers, go. This is your next one. Go, time is on. Keep going, don't stop. Your hands are directly on top of those shoulders. You're not in this angle and you're not dropped down. Belly's tucked in. You're alternating the knee, so you're hitting those obliques slightly, so the knee comes towards the opposite elbow. Reach. No butts are up like this. Keep it in line. Twist the hips slightly. Make sure you're breathing. 15 seconds. Don't stop it. You can do this. Five, four, don't stop. Three, two, one, and lay it back. Nice job. Stretch those shoulders out. That's your first round of the first two exercises. We're going to go on to the next two exercises, then the last exercise, and then come back and do everything all over again for round two. Your next two exercises. You're going to hold your position in that plank position. You're basically just doing a jumping jack. Feet out and in, out and in, out and in. Now, you will have some natural up and down. Try to keep it as tight as you can and do as little as you can. Here we go. Take it down. And then your second one, heel is or toe is on top of the heel and you're switching. Now your modification is to walk and have no hop. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Take it up. Go. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Keep that butt tucked as tight as you can. There is a position. I shouldn't have wore black, I know. I shouldn't have wore black. Out, in. Out, 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 out. Almost there. Don't stop. Keep it tucked. Keep the shoulders and that neck, neck lengthened. You're not up here. Out, out, out. out. Notice I'm not uh, rounding that back. I'm keeping my back muscles fired engaged. I'm keeping my shoulders away from my head. Two, one. If you need to, shake it out. Get ready. Get set. Toe on top of the heel. Go. Now, when you're doing this, just so you can see, your toe is directly on the heel. And you switch. And you switch. 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 You're locking those legs so that those quadricep muscles are staying Super, super, super tight. If it bothers your knees, loosen it up a little and don't hop. Doing good. 10 seconds. There's my feet. There is a bit of side to side I'm doing. Three, two, and one. Good. Lay it back and stretch it out. Did I not tell you there's a bit of cardio? I'm already sweating. I hope that you are too. My Shoulders are tight, my stomach is tight. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So I can give you guys a little bit more viewing room of my body so that you can see what I'm doing. The next one is you're doing a side plank. You're either up here or you're down on that elbow and you're here. Modification would be to take that top leg, plant it on the floor, and you're just down and up on that side or on that elbow, down and up. Try not to use too much of this leg, so you should be working that lower oblique. Here we go, 40 seconds on one side, flip it over, 40 seconds on the other. On the second round, I'm not gonna do so much talking, you know what to do. Here we go, side or up. If you're on your side, your elbow and your fingers point away from you. If you're on your hand, your fingers point up. Here we go. Get in that side plank. Feet are stacked on top of each other. Go. Dip the hip. Dip the hip. See if I can tighten this up. Dip. Dip. What you're not doing is your butt is not behind you. You should be hip stacked. Dipping. Chest is open. That lower oblique is pressing the body upward. More intensity. Take it up. A little bit more. Reach. Reach. Get a bigger dip. Almost touch that, touch that side of your butt. 
down, down, inhale, inhale, exhale. Do not forget to breathe. Otherwise, you're holding it. Otherwise, you're here. Otherwise, you're modifying here. Nice job. Roll it to the other side. Ready? Taking it up. Hips are stacked directly on top of each other. And shoulders never roll forward. They stay here. If you find that they're rolling forward, you need to modify. Your chest should stay open. This whole side of your body should be stacked right on top of the lower side. Here we go. And go. Lift. Modified is here. Non-modified, here. More intensity, arm comes up and you dip that hip almost to the floor. Pull up, pull up, exhale, exhale. 20 seconds, you can do it, don't stop whatever you do. You can do it if it's starting to bother your hand or your elbow. Bring it down and continue. Lift, we're here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stretch the oblique out. And the other side. Good, and grab those arms behind you. Stretch those shoulders out. You should be feeling those shoulders in the upper body pretty intensely. Your heart rate should be up. Like I said, there's the cardio aspect of, of there's a cardio aspect to this because we're continuously moving and we're adding some power moves like the jacks while you're down there. So whenever you're holding an isometric hold with one part of your body and the other part is trying to move and trying to move quick, it intensifies it, gets the heart rate up, and you're probably burning some more calories. And I know you're feeling good. And I know you're feeling it. Okay, are you ready? We're back to the first one, the plank walk side to side into the mountain climbers, then the jacks, then heel to the toe, or toe to the heel, and then the sides. And we're gonna to try to go right through. So anytime that you need to take a break, take a break and then come back. Don't push it if you feel like you're starting to lose form or your shoulders are coming up to your ears. Simply stop, take a quick stretch break and come right back. I am gonna try, I haven't worked out remember in a while because I've been really sick for a little over two weeks. So my endurance level is pretty down, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. So I want you to try to hang with me. Let's do this, let's try not to stop. Here we go, get it all you've got. Get into position, starting out. We're gonna walk to the right, walk to the left, or whichever side you need to go first. Go! If it bothers your wrist, you stretch and roll the wrist out too. Draw that belly button in as much as you can. Keep the neck lengthened. You don't need to look at me, nothing's changing yet. Try to keep looking down between your hands at your finger level. And please, make sure that you are breathing. Five seconds. Stop there, get ready. Mountain climbers, go. Remember, no butts up, go. You can do it, just keep telling yourself why you're doing this while you're here. Oh, my shoulders are burning. I can tell I haven't done anything in a while. Keep going. Don't stop, you gotta stretch my shoulders out a little bit. Swing it out if you need to. You can even go down to your elbow, which will pop your butt up a little bit. That's okay. Here we go. Four, four, three, two, one. And down. Good, I'm gonna let you have a little bit of the shoulder shake. Good, okay, here we go. Jumping jacks with those legs. Take them in, together. Draw that abdominal in. Here we go, go. Keep going. I'm gonna tuck my shirt in, see a little bit better my form. If you're down on your elbows and you need to modify, you're here. Your next modification is out. In, switching legs, alternating. Here, here. Keep going, keep it tucked in. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure that your shoulders are not pulled up. Make sure your back is not rounded. 
Make sure shoulders are down, lengthened. Those lat muscles are engaged to help assist you. Abdominals are drawn in. And you're breathing. Four, three, don't stop. Two, one. Here we go. Toe to heel. Get ready. And I'm going to try to do my best to not stop. Go. Remember, modify. Don't jump. Just tap. Non modification. I'm going to modify today. I can tell that I have not worked out. I can tell I've been sick. I can still feel it a little bit in my chest. Lift, lift. When you're doing this one, squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze your butt. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Good. And give yourself a quick shake while you change over to your side. Taking it either modified here, modified here, otherwise full. Here we go. Ready? And go. Take it up. And down. Down. Lift, 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 lift. Good. Or you're here, remember. Keep going. Modification. I'm going to show you, remember, quick. Here, here. Here. Try not to push with the top leg so much as that lower oblique. Don't stop. Keep going. I'm going back to more intensity. Four, three, two, one. Good job. My arms are falling off. Switch sides. Here we go. Get ready. You are done after this. You can do this. Get ready. Take it up to the side and go. Lift. Another option, if this bothers your hip, you can go behind you. I forgot to mention that. That can go behind you. So next time you do it, know that that is an option too. Lift. If it's burning, or I'm sorry, if it's hurting that palm, pushing into a hard ground, just go to the elbows. This is fine. You can also make it more intense by adding that arm and touching the hip. Keep going. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, straighter bends, doesn't matter. I alternate, I change things up all the time. Lift, lift, you only have five seconds and then you're completely done. Four, three, two, one. Good, awesome job. Very good. Stretch out your oblique, reach it over, open it slightly to the ceiling. Switching side, fantastic job today. And open it up. Good. Take those arms behind you. Lift and stretch. Open those shoulders. Drop that chin slightly. And bring it back up. Take those arms in front of you. Open and pull apart the back. Good. And push those shoulders down as you roll down. Roll that head side to slide. Good. Tricep stretch. Just because I'm sure they, they were probably firing and tired as well. Your whole upper body should feel pretty tired, pretty spent. Good job today. As you can see, I'm sweating. Well, yeah, you can see there's a blow, there's a glisten. Um, I hope you guys really challenge yourself. Next time you try to do it, challenge yourself even more. I know I'm gonna have to. I, like I said, I can tell that I've been down and out of it for a while, been, been sick, I can feel it in my chest, but Still, do what you can. If you know that you're not feeling good, just try to move. You don't necessarily have to go to the full-on challenges. Just try to get some light movement. Try to do something. Get outside and walk if your weather is okay. <laughs> um, next up, I'm going to be going back, putting together the cardio workout. I know, Tanya, you wanted another cardio. So, cardio workout coming your way soon.